Hey everyone, Cool Cat Terry here, and I got my beautiful Z3 with me, and I'm gonna give you guys a walk around of my car. Uh, this here is a 2001 2.5i. I've had it for almost a year, and uh, I have only done a little bit of work on it, and I just wanna give you a walk around, uh, show you the current condition of the car from when I uh, got it, because I haven't done too much cosmetically to it yet. Uh, go over, you know, issues that the car currently has and things that I've already changed and, uh, and, and just go from there. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, we will start from the front of the car. Now, we do have some issues with some damage on the front bumper. Uh, we're on the driver's side above the fog light. There's some pretty deep scratches that were in the car when I got it. So, not sure if that's something that I could sand out and then cover with paint or wrap. Um, or if I need to just replace the cover altogether. Um, this fog light cover on the side here was missing when I got the car so I went ahead and I replaced that I did um, some cleaning of the headlights they needed it they're gonna need another polishing but they were pretty fogged up when I got the car but uh, but now it, it's definitely much better than it was but it's been a good while they're gonna need another cleaning I went ahead and I changed the emblems it had the original emblems on the car that were blue and white uh, I went ahead and changed them to black because I do have a goal of making the car looking more aggressive. If you take a look, hopefully it shows up on the camera. It all depends on lighting and right now it's not the best lighting. I'm currently in the shade, but the hood is in pretty rough condition. It's got a whole bunch of rock chipping all over the entirety of the hood. The previous owner lived on a dirt road so it's got a lot of abrasions from all the rock chips thankfully none of them are deep it's just you know the paint has come off it's not like there, there's no dents it's not like hail damage or anything like that there's no dents it's just the paint needs to be sanded and redone i changed the color of the emblems on the wheels on the side gills and all the way around the whole car. I've done one full detail clean on the car since I've had it. I'm going to need to go through and do it again. The wheels are definitely getting pretty dirty again from driving on my, driving it. So I'm going to do another nice wash to get this uh, back up to snuff. Pretty dirty. And for those that are curious, I am running the Michelin Pilot Sport. AS3 pluses and uh, these are the uh, 225 by 50 Z with the, with the stock 16 rim we got some rock chipping on the mirror here damage here we got some scratches here on back by the trunk of the car um, it had an antenna on it when I got it the it didn't have the the stock the long one from the factory it had a shorter one it wasn't a stubby it was more of a medium length it probably from this it probably stood about this high it was a medium length one probably a good maybe three four inches four inches uh so that actually got snapped off i recently replaced the convertible top on here the original one, the stitching was coming out and the plastic window in the back was all yellowed out and it had a huge hole in it. So I went ahead and that's one of the one of the repairs I did myself on the car is I replaced the cover and it was pretty inexpensive seeing as how I did it myself. I went ahead and I waited for the Memorial Day sale and I got this top from Auto Tops Direct and they do sell convertible tops 
for multitudes of different makes and models of cars. So go ahead and check them out. Uh, I did notice that the prices on their eBay store were significantly cheaper than on their actual official website. Got the back of the car. As you can see, it is the 2.5i. It's in real good shape. Nothing too major, other than I just need a re. I just it needs it needs a new paint job, but that's pretty much the only really big significant thing that it needs body wise. Is the paint is just a little bit rough. There is a dent here. You can you can definitely see how the lighting kind of goes around it. There is a dent in that passenger uh, side uh, panel there. And I believe there is a small little dent right here above the uh, tail light. Those are the only two dents I've noticed on the car. I'm sure a professional will be able to spot far more, but those are the two that I've noticed. Now I do want to get some new tires put on because these ones are old. I believe they're like from 2012, so they're, they're really old tires. They need to get replaced. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look under the hood and then I'll show you guys the interior. All right, for anybody who may not be familiar with this car, maybe you've recently got one or you're in the market of getting one of these. On the North American ones, all right, your latch is going to be on the driver's side right in, up in here you'll be able to feel it so just right where this corner of your headlight is feel it right in here and that's where your lever is going to be and then you'll be able to lift up your hood now this is a massive hood because it also includes the fenders so it's a pretty insane sized hood so definitely make sure that your your mounts and things are, are in good shape to be able to, this is a lot of weight, make sure they're good because the last thing you want is something like this falling on you. Now I went ahead and I cleaned the engine bay myself. Uh, I am the third owner of the car. So when I first got it, the engine bay had never been cleaned. It was all full of oil. I'll go ahead and I can share some images of before and after shots of things throughout the video to kind of give you guys an idea. Of what it used to be like so I went ahead and I gave it a good thorough cleaning myself the strut brace came with the car I don't know which owner put that on because those don't come from the factory things that I've currently done on the car myself I went ahead and I've replaced the MAF sensor on it another issue was the purge valve which is found under here <laughs> it's can't see it but it's underneath here you gotta take out the, the whole um, air filter box to kind of get down in there. Uh, but I replaced that purge valve under there and that has definitely helped out on some issues. Uh, another issue is the secondary, the secondary air check valve here. I've replaced that as well. Cause I've had, that one was uh, completely filled with carbon and it just needed to get replaced. It just wasn't doing very well. I already tested the air pump, the secondary air pump over here, and this works fine. So this is, this is good to go. I had just, I, but this I replaced, let me get past this reservoir here. So this here, it has been replaced and the vacuum lines have also been replaced uh, along the side of the engine here, but there is an issue where the one in the behind the manifold, that one did not get replaced like it should have. And that one ended up breaking. Now the, the only thing I haven't done was the vacuum lines myself. Those a mechanic did. And they claimed they replaced all of the hoses and all of the lines. Well, clearly they lied because the one behind the manifold it has completely uh, broken. And now I'm going to have to get back there and remove it. I probably won't be able to show it on camera it is such a tight space but and it looks like it's gonna be too dark but down back in there it's actually broken I'll end up I'll uh, I'll put a, a photo up because I do have an image uh, that I took where I was able to get a, some light back there I can show you that 
So I have a new vacuum line that I picked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change that myself. That'll be some content. I'm gonna need to re uh, remove this. I'm not sure the proper name for this part here, but it holds all of the electrical wires and stuff. I'll, I'll have to remove this. It's held in by a bolt here and a bolt over there. That way I can get behind the manifold. And, there's, and then I'm also gonna have to take the uh, brace off so that way I can remove the engine cover. I'm gonna see if my hands are small enough to where I can just remove this back piece here to get back there. But in the event that it doesn't work out that way, then I'll have to remove this brace and take the engine cover off to give myself some more room uh, to maneuver back there. Cause it's going to be a very, very tight space but I'm really, I really hope that uh, I'll be able to do, do it without having to take too much off. But more than likely, being that it's a BMW, I'm going to have to remove a lot of stuff. And that's the only thing I've done mechanically myself with the car so far. I would like to do an oil change on it. I need to want to do that. Uh, I've checked the air filter. That looks good. And uh, I wanted to see about changing the cabin filter. I'm not sure how you get to the cabin filter on here, but there should be a cabin filter in here somewhere to where I, I could change that too because I doubt it's ever been changed. I know some cars the cabin filter is right in here and other cars it's inside the uh, glove compartment. I'm pretty sure it's in here, but I don't see, I don't see any way to remove this. Because I would assume it would have been here, but I could be I could be mistaken. I'll have to do some research on it. I want to change out the headlights and get some I want to get some angel eyes put in, make it a little bit more modern looking. There's nothing wrong with these. I'll still keep the original ones. Because this way, if I ever do end up selling the car in the future, I want to make sure that I keep all the original components so that way if the potential future owner ever buys the car, they can put it back to stock um, relatively easily. The front, these front marker, side markers right here, I'm going to be changing those out. I don't like the amber. Now you can either get uh, the clear white ones, which look really nice on these cars, or you can get fogged out ones. Uh, initially, I was going to get the clear white ones, but then I decided since I want to redo the car to make it look more aggressive, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do the fog ones. And I've already checked all the laws in my state, and it's perfectly legal where I'm at, so I'm good to go there. As well as the turn signal markers on the side here. Those ones, I also have fogged out ones that I want to install. And, um, and once again, if I don't like the way it looks, I can always put the original ones back on as long as I'm careful not to damage any of these. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the interior of the trunk. You just hit the little button there. And there we have it. It's a little messy in there, but uh, I just got all the original pockets still in there. The original umbrella still included. Uh, don't mind my car cover. I have this plastic in here. Uh, my car has no leaks or anything like that. I just tend to haul stuff in the car from time to time and the plastic is just added protection to help keep the the liner clean. But anyways, you just lift this up and under here we got the toolkit that came included with the car and mine is almost complete. I am missing one of the sockets but uh, otherwise Everything else is here. I've watched other uh, people show off their Z3s and usually the wrench and screwdriver are missing, but thankfully mine are not. So mine's good. I just got one socket missing. So that's very good indeed. Over here, you got the battery. Let's move the man out of the way. I got a new battery in here from the previous owner. that out and then we got it looks like a tire repair kit in case just to kind of get you by until you can get to a shop and then it comes with the jack and not sure what this is BMW 
I'm not sure how to even pronounce that word, but uh, whatever this is, this is still included. <laughs> and then, uh, and then yeah, and then you have this device here to lower the spare tire. You put all this back here. If anybody knows what this is, please let me know in the comments. Yeah, no leaks or anything like that. I just like to, when I do haul things in the car, I just want to protect the interior as much as possible. But, uh, there's the trunk, and then the spare tire is going to be underneath here. And you gotta get access the from the inside of the trunk to get that to lower. I don't have no idea what condition mine's in. I've never looked at it. All right, now let's go check out the interior. All right, so here's the interior real quick. The top is still up because I decided I was gonna show you guys how to take the top down for those who are new to the car. Um, really quickly, let me go ahead and start it up, and you can see the dash. There will be some lights on here. All right, so the car is low mileage, which is fantastic. Uh, I recently went on a cruise with my car club and I put 80 miles on uh, um, over the last two days. So that was a, a nice little drive. And uh, the engine light is on because like I mentioned, the vacuum line at the back of the manifold has completely broken apart. So that needs to, that's, so that's why that's on. And uh, the, you know, parking brake of course. And then the, uh, the classic, <laughs> the airbag light which is you know pretty common to see that on these uh, z3s and yes I have it I haven't gotten the code tested to see if it's an actual malfunction with the airbag itself um, I'm hoping it's just you know the standard issue with the seatbelt and uh, and that's that so uh, let me go ahead then and we're gonna take the, the top so once again this is so on the driver's side you'll have this lever here that you can just pull back and then there'll be another one you'll have to move these out of the way and there was another one over on the passenger side um, and then you have to lift up a little bit to give it some um, some starting and then you'll have to push the the brake down and then on the it's hard to get to it because they put it in the back but these are your buttons here to open and close the top here between the seats at the back it's, it's they definitely should have put it in the front it would make more sense because it's hard to reach behind you and try to do all that maneuvering but yeah but make sure that the parking brake is up and you have the brake pedal pushed down this has to be started in order for it to go if you just unlatch it and push the buttons and things it's not gonna work all right so that's something if you're new to the car that's gonna catch you off guard. You have to give it a head start by holding it up and then it'll it'll go the rest of the way. And that's standard on all of the Z3s. That's not gonna be, you know, specific to a particular year, to my knowledge. That's just how they built it. So I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to hold the camera and hold this up and push a button at the same time. So I will just continue the video once the top is completely down. All right, everybody, I went ahead and I put the top down. So let's go ahead and check out the interior of the car. Go ahead, I'm gonna shut off the engine. Take the key out so we don't have the incessant chime. I have the red interior, as you can see, and it's beautiful. All original, and the seats are in fantastic condition. Original seats, they have like this ostrich kind of texture on them very good condition for the age i see a lot of people get their z3s and the seats are very heavily worn so i'm quite pleased that i have these i've went ahead and i installed these little shoulder guards they look nice they're not they make it difficult for the seatbelt to retract because sometimes this will hit first and then the seatbelt will stop so i have to make sure i slide them down they're more, more about appearance, not so much function, but they do look nice. I think these are the original floor mats, because I have not seen these in any other Z3. 
Um, everybody else clearly had replaced the floor mats in there, so I'm thinking these might be the original ones. I don't know though. Leave a comment if you know for sure. All right, so I put on the steering wheel cover, the 2000 models, uh, the 2000, 2001, and I believe the 2002 as well is when they put it the M steering wheel on the car. So that came from the factory. That wasn't like an added modification. That's why you're going to see the M. I don't have the M version of the car. The factory just went ahead and they added that on the 2000 models. It'll have this nice little Roadster little plate here. And well, the, when I got it, the seats did have the rocking issue. I went ahead and I replaced the seat bushings myself. Um, there's plenty of videos on there where you can go and see how you do that. It's not that hard of a process. The hardest part is just getting the bolts on the back of the of the chair rail out. Other than that, it's a, it's a pretty easy thing to do. So I highly recommend you doing that because pretty much everybody needs to do that with these cars at least once. All right, and then this is the original uh, boot that was in here. There used to be a, a matching one here. I went ahead and I swapped that out with the black one to have some contrast. Uh, my center console here was the fake wood. I did not like the look of it, so I just put on some uh, vinyl wrap on there. I also got these little trim pieces in. Um, they look all right. Um, they don't like to stay down, so I might take them out. Like right back in here, you can see that it doesn't stay in there. Uh, so I, I might remove them all together. Another issue I have is on sunny days, this leaves a big uh, reflection in the windshield. So I'm staring at a red line going across my windshield and I don't like it. So these might actually come back out. And I might try to do something different to do some sort of accenting in here because this was a, an idea, but yeah, that's doesn't really work the way I would like it to. And then I also put these, because these cup holders aren't really functional. Uh, American drinks, modern day American drinks, uh, they're just too large. They don't fit in here. These actually go down a little bit deeper. Pop this out. You can see it actually goes down a little deeper. And these are actually the original Original little uh, butterfly clips that were uh, little push pins that were in my headliner when I changed it. Um, got, but uh, I just went ahead and I got these little things because I don't use the cup holders, so I just kind of wanted to get a little bit more uh, red accent in there to kind of really help the look. Still got the original little piece here. A lot of uh, people these covers are missing on theirs, so. Mine is still here. It's got a little bit of a, a dent in it, but it's still here. <laughs> Mine's not missing, thankfully. So I got that. My speaker system still works. I haven't done any modifications at all to any of like the tweeters or like the, the subwoof or anything. Everything is still original in the car and it all works. Usually like from what I've seen the subwoofer and everything, they, they, they blow out. Mine has not. And I have the top cover of this as well. This here is also a piece that's either heavily damaged or missing on a lot of Z3s these days. Mine is still here. And then I also have this uh, wind screen. Um, I have mine folded down. Uh, make sure if you are going to be driving with your top down and you have one of these, make sure you have it fully up before you put your top down. Right now, my top is resting on top, so I'm not going to pull on it because I don't want this to scratch the window or do any damage so I'm gonna have to leave it be for now but if I was actually gonna go for a drive I would make sure to put this up first before the top goes down all right and then it comes with these nice little side pockets here for some storage and th those are on both sides and then we move over to the passenger side oh yes and these here the seatbelt guards commonly break Thankfully, mine are still intact as well, so I'm very, very fortunate. Uh, I might still buy, I know like there's people on Etsy that sell the little piece that goes here. 
I might get those just as a preventative to help protect it from breaking. All right, and then there's this little netting here. I don't do anything with this at all, but it's there. And the glove box, mine does not have a sag in it, thankfully, so I, I locked out on that too. That's another common issue with the Z3, is the uh, this will have a sag in it. Mine does not do that. But yeah, there you have it, everybody. Z3. Um, one other thing I forgot to note, but since I'm right here, I do need to replace the gaskets for the door handles. This one here is cracked. And, but other than that, that one's in pretty good shape. The tail light gaskets are heavily worn, as you can see. So these I also would like to replace. Uh, I'm not sure if I can just get the gaskets or if that's something where I would have to completely replace the entire tail light. So I have to do some research. If you already know, please leave a comment. I would love to know where I can get the gaskets for the taillights. Otherwise, the one, the gasket here on the driver's side is also needs to be replaced. It's got some cracks in it. And, um, oh yes, that door handle there, that door handle did fall off. There's a issue with these cars where they snap off. Um, so I went ahead and I did my own fix and I got that back in order again. All right, everybody, thank you so much for checking out the channel. I hope you enjoyed the walk around of my Z3. Look forward to showing you more videos on this car. Uh, leave a comment on anything that you want to talk about when it has to do with the car. Love to learn more about it. And uh, yeah, make sure you go ahead and follow me over on Instagram at CoolCatTerry. Uh, and uh, like, subscribe, and all the good things. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.